Hello. We are continuing our study of the Old Testament book of Ezekiel, chapter 18. Today we will be reading verses 10 through 18. And today is Tuesday, October the 24th. And this is the Green Bar Valley Church of the Nazarene with your daily devotion. And here is the word of the Lord. Suppose he has a violent son who sheds blood or does any of these other things. Though the father has done none of them, he eats at the mountain shrines, he defiles his neighbor's wife. He opposes the poor and needy, he commits robbery, he does not return what he took in pledge. He looks to the idols, he does detestable things. He lends at usury and takes excessive interest. Will such a man live? He will not, because he has done all these detestable things. He will surely be put to death, and his blood will be on his own head. But suppose this son has a son who sees all the sins his father commits. And though he sees them, he does not do such things. He does not eat at the mountain shrines or look to the idols of the house of Israel. He does not defile his neighbor's wife. He does not oppress anyone or require a pledge for a loan. He does not commit robbery, but gives his food to the hungry and provides clothing for the naked. He withholds his hand from sin and takes no nursery or excessive interest. (coughs) Excuse me. He keeps my laws and follows my decrees. He will not die for his own sin because he... I'm sorry, he will not die for his father's sin. He will surely live. But his father will die for his own sin because he practiced extortion, robbed his brother, and did what was wrong among his people. And that is the word of the Lord. Our article today is titled, Accept Your Responsibility. And this is written by Michael Scarlett. Here's what Michael has to say. Some people see or understand their connection to a church because their grandparents were members there or they grew up going there as kids many years ago. Some have a sense that because it was their childhood church, their family church, they had their membership there or they were baptized there that they're in because of their soon connection. The reality is we can't have our relationship with God through another person or solely based on the past. We can't have a vibrant relationship with God disconnected from a community church. The church is to be the divine community to which we personally are tethered in Christ. It's here with the community of faith that we learn the means of grace. The work of worship and Christian formation link with works of piety and works of mercy and care for the world. Through grace, we are drawn into becoming people for whom the natural way to live is reflecting Jesus, his love and his justice in the world. We are either responsibly pursuing this way of life for the sake of the world, or we aren't. We're either finding life in Jesus, or we aren't. The hymn today is A Charge to Keep I Have by Charles Wesley. Arm we me with jealous care, as in thy sight to live. And O oh, thy servant, Lord, prepare a strict account to give. And from the book of Proverbs, chapter 21, verse 3, to do what is right and just is more acceptable to the Lord than sacrifice. And please pray for the development of Christian leaders in St. Lucia. And this is the Green Bar Valley Church of the Nazarene with your daily devotion for Tuesday, October the 24th. Have a blessed day.